Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Limited Portals by Snowy, which, uh, you only have a select amount of portable surfaces you can use, some chambers can be solved different ways, others you must do what the chamber goes by. Thanks, Snowy. Right off the bat, the some chambers can be solved different ways, that's generally not something you want to have happen, and also, it says, if you don't fully complete each area, unless you noclip, you're screwed. So, trapping situations are also something you want to avoid when you're making puzzles. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's check this out and see what we're in for here. I'm honestly not sure. What's the water for? That's what I want to know. Also, it's not very well lit in here. You want to put some more, what, more light stream, light strips in observation rooms, for instance. Because, uh, it's very dark around here, and also these ant lines... These ant lines are very confusing and messy looking. You want to probably clean those up. I am confused about the placement here. Like, you could have just put these along the back wall and then put the buttons directly under them. So I'm kind of confused why you just scatter these pedestal buttons about. And also, why not just let these set to auto-drop at the start of the map? That would have been convenient. Well, anyway, let's see what this over here does. Let's put this cube here. It does something in the other room that I can't see. Okay. We've got a portal surface here we can head up here with. I'm not sure what this is for, to be honest. I guess we're gonna put a laser- ah! Yes. We're gonna put the laser cubes here. I'm not sure why that's necessary, though. So if I do this, I'll point it at that one. And then... Do that same thing with the other laser cube here. Come on. Yeah, it's very dark in here, it's hard to see anything. Am I? There we go. Not much of a puzzle so far, but, uh, I guess we shall see. How do we get up there, though? Hmm. Oh. So, I guess what you want me to do is to stand here and push the button. This is actually a little bit of a dangerous and unnecessary thing. You could just set this to be automatic by just not connecting anything to it. With these- with these things, if you don't connect anything to them, they just automatically lift when the player stands on them, as long as they don't have any connections. And that's much more convenient. And I have to jump out a laser, huh? Alright. So... So far, we have just been given three cubes, we put the cubes into a position, and then we just leave them behind forever. That's what I'm seeing. And generally that's a bad sign when you're making a puzzle, is if the player just immediately puts a cube where it needs to go and then never does anything else with it, that generally means that it's not much of a puzzle. So you want to avoid that, and when you see that happening in your map, you want to try and figure out alternative uses for the cubes and have the player have to, like, move the cube and do multiple things with it. Alright, so we're in the next room now. It doesn't look like we'll be going back at all, although we do have the ability to see that portal surface. What does this button do? Drops that cube. Lots more buttons that I have to press. Might as well just press all of these. See what they all do. Interesting. Yeah, why not let these be set to auto-drop? That's what I'm confused about. Wow. Five cubes. That's insane. So... Some of the best maps that I've ever played have only had one or two cubes in the entire map. It's rare to see three or more cubes in great maps. So, the more cubes you're using, the more likely you're doing something wrong. In general, fewer is better, less is more. So keep that in mind when you're designing maps. What do we have down this hallway here? What in the world? Well, let's, let's not go here yet, because I don't think I'll be able to get back into this room if I do. Hmm. Also, these- these laser relay puzzles where you just direct the laser around to- to various catchers and stuff, these aren't fun to solve, they're- they're just mindless busy work. Because, uh, you just have to, like, try out various angles and eventually hope you get it right, or otherwise it's just pointless putting lasers around like this. These generally aren't fun, and a lot of people agree that they're really annoying sometimes. Come on. There we go. Yep. That's all it took. Not very much of a puzzle. So you want to avoid doing that in your maps. Let's see, what else? Where do these cubes go? Probably up there. Right. So let's put this here. And I'll get this cube as well and take it with me up there. Alright. Save and continue. There we 
we go. Right. Again, these cubes were just immediately given to us, and then we put them where they needed to go, and then didn't do anything else with them. So, again, those are basically pointless. Want to keep that in mind. Right, let's see, what else? Wow, this room is really big and empty. Why is it this big and empty? Generally, you want to avoid execution-based maneuvers like that, because a lot of people play with controllers, and it's really hard to do moves like that on a controller. So, generally avoid making stuff that requires quick reaction time or whatever. You always want to make it so it's easier for people with controllers or disabilities to play their maps. Let's see... What is the point of that portal surface? Is that just an easier way to get over there? Okay, I don't know what that's for, then. So there's that, but then there's also this alternative way... ...which... Oh yeah, that- if you just get rid of that portal surface, that fixes all my complaints with the disability stuff, but... But then this room is just really big and empty, and there's no puzzle here, because we literally just use the light bridge in the most obvious way, and there's not much of a point to the room here. So this entire room could be removed without really affecting the map at all. Interesting. I'm pretty sure if I stand in the right way I could grab this. Yeah, like that. So... Not sure what you were going for there. That looks to me like a trapping situation, if I've ever seen one. So if I place a portal here, and then a portal here, I'm trapped, and I have no way to get out other than doing that, I suppose. And I can get out this way. That does work, but generally avoid doing stuff like that. I'm not really sure why this is in a little glass cage anyway, because it was trivial to get in here, so it wasn't much of a challenge. Well, anyway, let's see what that button does. This button does... that. Okay, it's permanent, good. But, again, with a permanent button that you can so easily get to, it might as well have just been activated from the very start. Right, I'm guessing we're gonna take the companion cube with us. Come here. And let's head through here. Oop. And that's the exit. Alright. So, things to work on. Lighting, and a lot of other stuff that I've touched on. And also, this companion cube's pretty pointless. And, uh, I would recommend watching Demon Arisen's series on how to make great test chambers, and also reading Rectorox's guide. I will link both of those in the description of this video, and hopefully you'll be making better maps in no time. You just take practice and time. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!